The death toll from torrential rains in central China's Henan province has risen to 80. Rainwater has damaged more than 44,209 hectares of crops in the city, causing a direct economic loss of about 55 billion yuan. Over 7 million people in the province have been affected by the extremely heavy rainfall. Rescue and reconstruction efforts are underway. The Weihe River in Heavy City burst its banks and flooded several villages, leaving people trapped. Local authorities said that six bodies were found after a five-day search operation in the Jingguang Road Tunnel in the provincial capital, Zhengzhou. Power is expected to be restored to all affected residents by today. Water supply will generally go back to normal on Sunday. The authorities in Heavy City's Jiangxian County upgraded its flood control emergency response on Thursday to the highest level, according to a statement from the county. A working team sent by the National Flood Control and Drought Relief Authorities has coordinated and organized the rescue of those who are trapped in Xinxiang. The working team, led by Zhou Shui-wen, Vice Minister of the Ministry of Emergency Management, visited Xinxiang on Thursday to help guide the flood control and relief work. These rivers are prone to overflowing during the summer monsoon season, leading to extensive flooding in some areas. The Chinese government has implemented various flood control measures, including the construction of dams, reservoirs, and levees to mitigate the impact of such events. The Chinese government has implemented various flood control measures, including the construction of dams, reservoirs, and levees to mitigate the impact of such events. East China's Fujian and Jiangxi provinces received heavy and occasionally historic amounts of rain in recent days, leading to floods and landslides. 200,000 people have been evacuated from Fujian province as rivers overflowed and flooded Chinese cities. Many houses, shops, vehicles and crops have been flooded, and some roads, telecommunications infrastructure, electricity facilities and other infrastructure were destroyed. In the city of Longyan, a section of a road near a tunnel collapsed on Thursday due to the continuous rainfall. Cold air from the north moving southward, and the warm and humid air currents are intersecting in Jiangnan, region south of the Yangtze River, which increases the uncertainty of the forecast. Fujian has seen continuous rainfall with some regions' totals ranging from 250 to 400 millimeters. In Ganzhou, Jiangxi province, the authorities have provided more than 50,000 pieces of flood relief items including tents, towel blankets and folding beds. China allocated 360 million yuan from its Central Natural Disaster Relief Funds to assist local governments including Hunan, Guangxi, and Guizhou with flood control and disaster relief and more than 24,000 cartons of mineral water to ensure the basic lives of the affected residents.